Praise the Lord. I want to start off on Jeremiah 29 verses 13 today. And this has been upon my heart um, the entire week. I find so often the Lord gives me a message the following Sunday after I've preached. <laughs> so this has been on my heart for the entire week. And um, so I've been putting it into practice as well. And uh, Jeremiah 29, 13 says, And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. So God says that, that we will find him when we seek him with all of our hearts, not some of our hearts or just on a Sunday. Um, yes. So many people say, you know, I love the Lord with all my heart and I seek him. And uh, they're wondering why they haven't found him. But the word says that when we seek him with all of our heart, we will indeed find him. And um, we need to also understand that God is not a man that he should lie. So everything that he has spoken in his word is true for you and for me. When we begin to put it into practice and believe for the Lord to show up, it will happen. It will by its very nature happen because God is not a man that he should lie. So just as we were praying in the spirit earlier on, even the word says that the true worshipers must worship him in spirit and in truth. And the more we get out of the natural into the supernatural power of God, the more we see those miracles, those signs, and those wonders begin to take place because we simply believe that what God has said is true. I don't know about you, but it's been growing on me. You know, the word just grows on us. And as we begin to see, we see the glory of God. Yes. So today, I just want to encourage you by faith in Jesus' name. You know that the most important thing is seeing that healing happen <clears throat> by faith. Yes. I said to a lady the other day, uh, because she was struggling to receive her healing um, of diabetes, and I said to her, can you see yourself healed? And she said, no. No. Well, I said, it doesn't matter how many times I pray for you, you won't be healed. And she says, what? <laughs> yeah. You know, the word says in Matthew 18, 19, when two or three agree, it shall be done. We need to be in agreement. There's power in agreement. Devils fly. You know, they, they go when we are fully in agreement. So I said to her, now, close your eyes. Do you see yourself healed? And she said, yes, I see myself healed now. But that's faith, you see. That's faith. You've got to see things happening before. It happens in the spiritual realm before it manifests in the physical realm. Do you see yourself prospering? Yeah. You know, this is what faith is. And um, it's not imagination. It's thinking in our heart because as we think proverbs 23 7 says as we think within our heart so are we yeah god is wanting us to prosper but do you believe that what do you believe in your heart today because it will be done to you as you have believed so that's what we say the word says god is not a man that he should lie so all the promises that he has spoken for all of us are, are going to come to pass. But we need to begin to appropriate his word in our lives. Because sometimes we want to come along for prayer and be like a wave that is tossed to and fro, as it says in James. I think it's James 1. That we will not even expect to receive anything of the Lord. God is really interested in what is happening in your hearts. Yes, it's a heart decision when we come to the Lord. 
We want to seek him with all of our hearts, and that is where we will find him, is when we begin to have that known truth that sets us free. It's not the truth that sets us free, any you know, earthly truth. It's actually the known truth of the word of God that is going to set us free. Yes. So how much of the word of God are you applying in your heart today? Because I can promise you, I love the word of God. I love putting it into action and seeing it come to pass. Even if it's challenging at times, that doesn't matter. The Lord has spoken it and he's watching over his word to perform it. And another thing is, he is not a respecter of persons. Yeah, you may say, oh, well, that person is moving mightily in the gifts, or that person has received their healing, but I haven't received my healing. God is not a respecter of persons, but he diligently rewards them that seek him. Yes, not with some of their heart, but with all of their heart. So, yes, it's time to start speaking God's word in your life today um, instead of all the cares and the sorrows and all the worries that this world has because God's word is above everything that you're going through. At the name of Jesus, every knee has to bow. Every financial situation, every sickness uh, or circumstance or every problem that you are going through right now has to bow at the name of Jesus. And some people say, well, I hope so. <laughs> um, you know, yeah, we know that hope does not disappoint, but what do you believe in your heart? Okay, some people say, well, I'll go to the doctor and see if I was healed. Well, you know, don't bother. Save yourself some money because that word if, unfortunately, is going to stop things in its track. God, his word, his word is, is true. It's true for you and for me. And so I'm just getting this in your heart today that his promises are yes and amen. I may say that 10 times today, but until it catches in your heart as a revelation, that is when you'll see the glory. When you understand that God is your source and not man, that is when you will see his glory. So often we're looking to people, looking to the boss, trying to impress the boss. Promotion comes from the Lord. It does not come from people. Some people are in competition today to see if they're better than others. Forget that. Seek him with all of your heart and promotion will come at the appointed time. The last time we were speaking about Ecclesiastes, that everything happens at a certain time. But we know that healing is for today. Healing happens today because it's already in the past. By his stripes, you were healed. You're not waiting to be healed. In fact, you just, you know, need to receive the love of God. This is what's so important in many hearts today is that they believe that God can heal them. But until they've caught that revelation of his love, then, mm, then they'll truly understand uh, how much God wants to bless them. So, you know, whatever I write down here is when the Holy Spirit takes over, it's just amazing how, how the Lord has his own way and we must let him have his own way. We need to let him have his own way in our churches all around the world. God is wanting to move unhindered by all these earthly ways because he is spirit. So we have to worship him and be led of him by his spirit and not by any workings of any other spirit. So, yes, and when we call ourselves a Christian, there's got to be something different. You know, I always say to people, I don't wear any crosses, and I don't see any problem with anybody wearing crosses at all. But I believe that people should know you because of your love. Not because of gifts or anointing, no. Because of love. 
because love is the foundation for miracles. Because even the word says that you can cast out demons and he can still say to you on the last day, I didn't know you. You want him to say to you, well done, my good and faithful servant. Yes. So God is wanting us to walk in the spirit. Okay. We must walk by faith and not by what is happening upon the earth. And there's got to be such a difference in us that people will say, you know, there's something, there's something different about that lady there. Mm, something different about that man. Yeah, they've got the Holy Spirit in them. They're just full of love. And that is what God is wanting his children. He's wanting his children to walk with, with, without unforgiveness, without bitterness, without um, all these worries and sorrows. You know, we have many emails that come in. We have many people that join via Zoom. In fact, those Zoom services are lasting over three hours. And it's just so wonderful to see people that are healed and delivered all over the world. That just shows you that there's no distance in the Holy Spirit. Uh, people, if we stand in agreement, we know that God is watching over his word and that we will see it happen. So we've established that it's actually easy to receive from God, but our hearts are far from him. You know, all the issues come through our hearts. So we need to make sure that we are walking as children of the light. Yes, we need to get rid of fear that really takes us right out of his presence and know that when we're walking in the Lord, that we truly have this wonderful victory. And the victory is through our faith as well. We overcome the world through faith in Jesus' name. So, you know, some people are shouting, Rend the heavens, Lord! Come down! He's already done it. He did it over 2,000 years ago. Some people are saying, Oh, well, I wish he'd get back on the cross again. You know, these are emails that we get. And we write back to them and say, what are you talking about? <laughs> He's already done everything for us. Everything that pertains to godliness and holiness. He has given us every spiritual blessing. And I think that's Ephesians 1. Um, I love the book of Ephesians. It, I was actually in the book of Romans 8 this morning. Such wonderful revelation. I think that's also something that perhaps you can have a look at today, Romans 8. And uh, it's, it's, it's his indwelling spirit within us. Um, just knowing that his spirit resides in us should be enough for you to receive your healing and deliverance right now. Praise the Lord. So let's get on to 2 Peter 1 verses 3. And it says, his divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through the knowledge of him, through the knowledge of the earth, through the knowledge of some science book. No, it says through the knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. So it's the knowledge of that truth that's going to set us free when we understand that he will never leave us or forsake us. Some people say that they are alone, but he ne he's there with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. Can you understand? Can you comprehend this love? Can we comprehend this love that he has for us? That he sent Jesus to die on the cross so that we could have healing, deliverance, salvation. Some people say, well, I'm saved and that's, that's good. We can just sit in church and not see any healing or any deliverance and no signs and wonders. Nobody cares. Um, if somebody's sick, they'll just send them straight off to the doctors or the medical profession or whatever. Jesus says, I am the Lord who heals you. And the world will go against this message because they have not been rooted and grounded in the word to understand where the truth comes from. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with going to those places. But I'm talking to those believers. I'm talking to 
But because there are many unbelieving believers, yeah, these are believers that walk in the Spirit and do not fulfill the desires of the flesh. These are those. These are us. These are us. Do you know that when God looks at you, he sees you whole? He doesn't see you sick. He doesn't see you oppressed. He sees you whole because of what Jesus has done for you. We need to catch that revelation, friends, and get out of this worry and fear and hurt and bitterness that is not from the kingdom of heaven. That's from the other kingdom. So we can't begin to stand on one side of the fence with our foot in the other, okay? Um, God will not share his glory with anyone. Yes, we need to make sure that we stand firmly rooted and grounded on God's word because it's his word that's going to set us free. Yes, so I want to encourage you to step out in faith today, just like Peter did. He got out of the boat. And um, while others were just sitting there waiting for things to happen, it reminds me of uh, when we ministered the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Some people just sit there as in somehow their mouth is going to move without them, <laughs> you know, doing anything. Okay. Faith without works is dead. We can't just sit there and think, well, if God wants to heal me, he will heal me. No. That lady with the lady of the, that, with the issue of blood, she, had, she was determined. You know, she added works to her faith. She went and she grabbed the hem of Jesus' garment, and they were healed. There were thousands of others that could have touched his hem that day. There were thousands that had even nudged him and walked beside him, but there was something so different about this lady. It was her faith. When you place a demand on the anointing of God, when you know that you know, you will see his glory. God is not wanting you to walk out of here sick today. He's wanting you to walk out of here whole, healed, cleansed. And some are saying, I wonder if he will heal me today. But well, Jesus said to the leper, I am willing, be cleansed. But today people are like, but, but, <laughs> I wonder if, um, <laughs> no, <laughs> spend more time in the word and understand that it's actually for us. Uh, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm praying that people catch the revelation. And so we just get on to the next point here of receiving, and that is from 2 Corinthians 10, verses 5. We have to cast down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and to bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Don't settle for less than the best of what God has for you. We don't want to get up to heaven one day and then he says to us, well, I had all of this for you, I had all of that for you, and you didn't fulfill it. Yeah. We need to be careful of our thought life. And every time a bad thought comes into your mind, you reject it. A bad dream comes, you wake up in the morning, thank you, Jesus, uh, I rebuke that, um, I rebuke that, that bad dream. Yeah. So... I always start off everything with thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Luna, the word says, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Some people want to come with a shopping list without giving the hallowed be thy name. And I believe it's so important to just surrender everything to him. You know, I mean, we've, we've done it with so many things. I've surrendered this ministry to the Lord. That, Lord, take it. You handle it. You move it. And he does. I surrender my finances to him. And he takes care of that. I surrender my body to him. And he takes care of my healing. Begin to surrender your entire life to him. Surrender your cigarettes to him. Surrender that alcohol to him. Today, in Jesus' name. Yes, 
Yes, I know it may be hard for many. And perhaps I've stepped on some toes. It doesn't bother me. God's word is God's word. And I want to see you healed and delivered today because that's his promise. Don't settle for anything less. Get rid of those hindrances today so that you can shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord will rise upon you. Yes, you need to know that he loves you. Yes, hallelujah. We need to understand his love, his love for you. You know, I love that song, he is jealous for me. Yes, he is. He is so jealous for us. You know, he's a jealous God. And he even says that he visits the iniquity down to the third and the fourth generations of those who follow the idols and all these things. Get rid of every idol in your life today. Yes, every bit of witchcraft. If you want to see his blessings flow, yeah, we're going to have to be humble today. Yes, and let, let him work in our hearts. So most are speaking to the mountain today, and uh, you know, they're speaking to the mountain about their mountain, but they're not commanding that mountain to move. Yeah. Many people speaking about their issues today, but they are not taking authority over it in Jesus' name. So he's given us all authority and power to trample on serpents and snakes and over all the power of the enemy. And he even says it will not harm you. For some it's lust. The Lord is wanting you to command that mountain to move so that you will see the glory of God. And when the floodgates open, when the glory comes, and I can assure you it's here today, you will see the hand of God in your life. But I believe that it requires total surrender, surrendering every part to him. Yes. Yes, and I love Mark eleven twenty three. It says, if you say unto the mountain, go and throw yourself into the sea, but do not doubt. Some people say it's a blank check to the church. <laughs> but yes, it says, for whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it shall be yours. So it takes us believing, acting upon the word. And how can we believe? unless we are really in the word, because faith comes by hearing and hearing from the word of God. So we've all got a measure of faith. So we take that measure of faith and we begin to increase it and increase it by uh, hearing and hearing from the word of God and just developing that relationship with Christ. You will see wonderful things begin to happen. So Yes, God is wanting to heal you today. He's wanting to touch you. And, uh, and just, he wants you to walk out of here changed today. But I want to encourage you, once you've received your healing prayer, begin to speak the word of God. Don't go speaking all the negative things or going by a feeling. Faith is not a feeling. That man at the temple, beautiful in Acts 3, verses 16, um, you know, Peter and John, they were trying to explain this miracle, you know, that, that it happened. And he said that it was by faith in the name of Jesus Christ that they were healed. So, of course, as we say, some people will manifest and some won't. But you go by faith. Please always make sure that you understand what faith is so that you uh, are fully in agreement with God's word. And we had a lady, I think, two Sundays ago who came up to one of our services. And um, uh, I'm not too sure if she's here today, but she had a child who had a um, tube attached to, to um, he couldn't eat. And she sent in a wonderful uh, a testimony. She wanted to send it privately, but that's fine. Uh, she was just saying that he could eat now and... Uh, and she just had to catch the revelation of what was being preached that day. So I pray that this has encouraged you. You don't have to live the way, you know, below the best of what God has got for you. He wants you 
to prosper and be in good health. So I pray that this has blessed you. Thank you for listening. God bless. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and visit our website on www.christhealingcenter.co.za. God bless you.